Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I was going to say two then, but that would have been a mistake. So when we last left off, we were helping Mr. West Dickens, and well, I mean, things were going roughly as well as you'd imagine. So let's go and find him, shall we? We took a camp up where he was staying, but for some reason it teleported us down there. But, you know, that's fine. Anyway, I believe he was talking about doing some racing or something. So, let's go check that out, shall we? The Sport of Kings and Liars. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How <laughs> wonderful to see you, sir! How wonderful! Are we ready then? Should probably uh, change those yes, batteries. Sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Ratskeller Fork. <laughs> Well, he does have a point. We do need money. Um, I know John likes to think we can do all of this stuff on the cheap and for free. I'm not sure exactly what isn't uh, sinking into his head, but there we go. Right, batteries. Let there be power. Excellent. Right, okay, and... My monitor is doing strange things. Nope, we're good. Now, hey, whoa. Um, okay. I mean, I guess I'm going to be following along behind him. No space for me, huh? So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dick. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. <laughs> it's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Hmm. I'm somehow not convinced. Not by a long shot. There it is, John! Rapskeller Port! Still, we don't really have a lot of choice. I'm assuming we actually need our horse for this race, which is why the game kind of like forces us to take it. Come on. Okay, if you could stop running me over, that would be fantastic. Whoa there. Yep, looks like it. So hopefully this is going to be significantly easier because we have like a decent horse. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, <laughs> Aww. pushing, Aww. 
cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his way or bleed heavily or black out. <laughs> Get yourselves ready. Set. That's disappointing. So we're not allowed to murder the other riders. That's a shame. Right, we're going to have to manage our stamina pretty well here. There we go. Come on, Midnight. This is what you were born for. I say. Oh, I don't know, actually. We might be in for some chop here. Now, if only that horse falls down in front and breaks a leg. I guess we could save all of our stamina for the last. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We shouldn't doubt old midnight here. Try and claw some of that stamina back. If we can. Kind of a full bar, just in case we have to go for a full all-out burn right at the end. Whoop. I still need to look up, actually, how we have this horse, to be honest. I'm sure it must be something to do with, like, all the DLC, because of the uh, backwards compatibility. Same as the Golden Guns. But the guns, luckily, are just skins. Unless we found the deed off someone that we killed, got lucky, I guess, or something, but nah, I'm not buying that. Races certainly seem to be easier than the uh, races in GTA, which I think always sucked. Donkey dick. Didn't really matter what GTA you're playing, the races are just anus. Okay. All good so far. Got a healthy lead. Plenty of stamina in the tank. I'm pretty sure we get in trouble if we run over any of the bystanders. Uh, for some reason, that's kind of in my memory. Vaguely remember such deeds. This is quite the race, though. Ooh. There's a free horse, sir. Out of the way! Oh, you son of a bitch. Horse is doing the best it can to sideswipe us. Jolly and decent of it, really. Alright, not bad. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Alright, alright, alright. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. <laughs> How could things possibly go wrong? Yeah, well, it's the only team we have. And at least we have found some characters to actually help us. So, could be worse. We've got five bucks for that. Hello. Oh, there's a stranger over here. Let's go have a little look, shall we? What does this one want? Evening. <laughs> hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> 
All right, fine. Now, what's the betting that old Jeb's love is not what you might think it is? Got a good arm and a good eye. Uh, let's throw some shoes. Right, tossing a horseshoe is controlled by the point of release. You can send a horseshoe further by choosing a lower release point. Uh, yeah, I understood everything. You can fine-tune the distance by pulling your arm back less. Ooh. Okay. Practice tossing. To toss a horseshoe, push right stick up and down. You can aim left and right with left stick. Use LT to aim and line up your shot. Ah. Uh, okay, I kind of see. Right. So right stick is swing, got ya. So we wanna go for, I would say, the white line there. All right, um, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> we skipped that, I pushed A. I thought A would be release, but whatever. Now you're playing for money. Would have actually really liked to practice. Oof. I suppose everyone's got to have a hobby. So you only get two horseshoes. Ah, uh, old Zeb's still crying away like a baby. Alright, let's rein that in a little bit. A little something like that. Right, so it's the trigger to release, I see. Oof. Oh, that was shit. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, pal. That was shit, I'll give you that. So I'm sure we need to get it in the green range like that. Hmm. <laughs> the closest player scores one point for each horseshoe. A perfect ringer is worth three points. Okay. Right, well, I know what I'm doing now. Doesn't mean we're going to win. But I have a rough idea. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Alright, well, let's see. Let's bring that in, John. Just a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh, son of a bitch. I think we need to maybe swing it down a little bit. Let's try putting it there. Ah, oh, fuck. We are literally getting our ass handed to us right now. Still, we can still pull this back. Maybe. We can skip his turn, though. I think, yeah. Ooh, he's got some pretty rubbish shots there. So potentially, if we don't completely fuck this up. A little bit too high. Yeah, too high. I guess we completely fuck this up. I am going to help you. Maybe. But first, I'm trying to earn a few bucks. Eh. Okay, that was a complete loss again. I think I'm getting the hang of it, though. I know roughly what we're supposed to do now. Unlike with uh, doing a pistol duel, which I still really don't know what the hell that's about. Right, I don't need to watch your throw. More concerned about my throw. All right, let's dial that in a little bit. Something like that. Oh, son of a bitch. So I'm guessing you need to be above the white line. But maybe before the black line? Something like that. Your last throw was too long. Try reducing your arm speed on re Ah. Oh. Your last throw was too long. Try reducing your arm speed. Okay, I didn't realize arm speed was a thing. But that's interesting. Seems to be a lot to this game. Right, that looks okay. Oh, I see. 
Right, I'm with you. That was way too slow. Didn't throw long enough. Got you. Right, so a little bit something like that. No. <laughs> We're going to lose 10 bucks. All right. Well, the good news is we have absolutely no more insight on how that worked. All right, let's go look for Jeb's love. Which I wouldn't be surprised. It's like a, a mule or something. I'm not sure why Midnight's running away from us like that. All right. So we need to head out here. And we know exactly where we're going. We're going to that same old place that we seem to always end up. I'm pretty sure we've cleared the bandits out of this place like five times now. But we can do it five more times. That's fine. I guess the more we keep putting down, the more keeps springing up. Well, now, at least it's not that far away. Okay. This is where things get a little bit spicy. So there's Seb's love. Yeah, such a sweet sugar. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Ball man shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Dang. Gave themselves medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy, short black hair, mustache. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah, we better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> Wait, she's just well, gonna come on, man. All right, follow me. She's just gonna let us take him back. So when she says she took him off, let's go. Does that mean she stole him? She bought him? Oh, her, I should say. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. <laughs> I should never have listened to that crazy fool. <sighs> No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? Well, I won't go that like far. You, a real sweeter. Well, to be fair, we're just ticking boxes. That's all. Metaphorical boxes in our head. No more to it than ask, that. Mister, didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. <laughs> but Jeb. He's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. I still don't understand her role in this. Did she steal the horse or what? Hey there, Lucy. You excited to go back to your special man? And I'm... Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's going to have flowers waiting for us? <laughs> <laughs> There's some things I'd rather not think about. Hey. I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. You're welcome. Glad I could bring some joy to your life. Um, also, I don't think Jeb is as weird as Seth. Seth takes the cake. There you go, buddy. Now, what's in it for me? Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! 
Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. All right, this is weird. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. <laughs> oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> well, he's happy, and the horse doesn't seem to mind much. So, you know. Oh, there's actually a bounty up here. You're an upstanding knight in the bleak western wilderness. Law and eyewitnesses only report crimes after the first murder committed. Ah, okay. Right, so who have we got? Criminal assault at Repentance Rock. Let's do it. I'm sure old Irish can wait. Alright. Now where's midnight? Let's go. We've got another sack of shit to bring in. More coin for the purse. Now, where the hell is Repentance Rock? Oh, God. Wow, that is a trek. Alright. I suppose we better get going, then. I'm guessing we have to cart his ass all the way up there as well. So he's getting a nice free ride from us, at least. And some re free rope burns as well. Man, isn't he a lucky boy. Now, we did do some of the bounties in the second game, which, although mostly similar, um, similar, I should say, they did have, like... Oh, something going on over there. They did have um, more personality to them. But then I hate to imagine how much money Rockstar dumped into Red Dead 2, to be fair. Uh, really? Can we not just... Nah, I guess that's probably mountain. Alright, stick to the road. Stick to the sat-nav. I like to think it knows more than we do. At least, that's the theory. Not much of a theory, I know, but that's all we've got. God damn it. You're nearing the bounty target's last known location. We certainly are. Right, here we go. Now. You heard very little, my friend. Uh, how the hell do we get up here? Probably around the... Alright, this looks about right. We'll use our long gun. Somebody might be here. Why don't you peep out and have a look? Not sure what the stealth's like in this game. Can't say I've ever really used it. And as we can't actually creep up that rock, probably not fantastic. Although... I think we can hide in the bushes. I'll fill my hand quick as you please. Think we Whoa. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the fuck that was about. Oh, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this the hard way then. Oh, hello. Oh Jesus. Shot him into next week. I don't know who that is. One of these guys is our main target. Um, I think that's the main target. Oh, I'm plenty good enough for you. Don't you worry about that. Come on. Come on. Okay, I don't know why we can't throw that. 
There's definitely still a few bugs and glitches with this game, that's for sure. It's certainly not perfect. Even after all these years. Uh, dude. Really? I'm already feeling quite a lot of pain. And that's just listening to you talk. There we go. You. You can die. You're not worth a dime. Apart from, of course, what's in your pockets. There we go. Whew. Right. Ain't nobody gonna hold me, Mr. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna hold him. Is that right? Well, looks like you're pretty fucked from where I'm looking. Alright, let's loot up a couple of these guys. Seems a shame to waste all of this cash. Alright. Well, to be fair, mate, seems about the best thing that could happen for you. Now, I don't know what Midnight's doing. Seems to be causing more problems than anything else. Yeah, Midnight, can you stop moving for five seconds? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, I see you. I think. Oh, dear. Oh dear, that's fine. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're all good. Let's get out of here. Armadillo Jail. Alright, that's actually significantly closer. Significantly closer. Right, let's go take this sack of shit to Armadillo. Before more of his goons start turning up. Waste of good bullets. Out of the way, mister. Every time I hear those dogs bark, I always think of... Um, ah, it's a very old indie game I used to play. Don't starve. Whenever you used to hear those dogs barking, that was a bad time. Almost as bad as the sound of that cougar back there. But not quite. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh dear, come out of nowhere. That could have been a nice easy hunt. Ah, oh, shit. Wow. It's like literally trying to get inside my horse. And not in a nice way. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's shoot your hat off. Actually, let's... No, can we... Alright. I was trying to shoot his hat off, but the game just was kind of forcing me to aim at him. We'll figure shooting hats off a little bit later on. Should be that difficult. I say, optimistically, as if I know what I'm talking about. But in all seriousness, it shouldn't be that difficult. I think the biggest trouble is, as soon as you go into Deadeye, it locks onto enemies. And I think you need to shoot their hats off before they actually die. So I wonder... Right, we don't want to shoot the horse. Alright, we'll shoot your hat. Can we... There we go, try that. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to count. But I think that might be because the guy was dead. Maybe. And I don't think there's any way of actually cancelling your target in Deadeye. Without actually exiting it and starting again. Which is... Eh, not the most efficient way of doing things. Okay. One sack of shit. Freshly delivered. You found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Hey, not bad. 160. I suppose whilst we're here, 
we can actually sell some of the crap that we're looting or that we have been looting hmm Kentucky Kentucky Sadler uh, I think we'll skip for now you're overstocked are you what on cougar meat you're doing pretty well if you're overstocked on that I'm well, making a decent amount of cash, I suppose. Slowly pushing our way up to four grand. Wow, wolf meat. Yeah, hunting wolves is really where it's at. Now, I'm guessing. <laughs> sure, blame the Jews. I'm sure uh, hunting bears is probably more profitable. Now, do you have anything? I see. Keep all the foreigners out and the Jews out. You certainly are a product of your time, sir. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, I assume we're going to go and talk to Irish. Because I think at the moment he's the only mission that we have available. Yeah. And we're in Armadillo as well. Armadillo. So we're all ready. There's a property to. Oh, that's rentable. All right. I guess that's rentable up here as well. No, it's vacant. So there is actually a property to buy up there. Okay. Okay. We'll have to try and make a mental note of that. And I absolutely, definitely will not forget that. There's also a stranger there, which is worth noting. Right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.